So earlier I reviewed the Seagate expansion external hard drive and didn't really have a lot of nice things to say about the enclosure. If you're looking for the review of this drive, there's a link in the description below. Today we're going to find out what's actually inside and whether or not buying the hard drive for just the hard drive and ditching the enclosure is a good idea. So cracking into this drive was actually surprisingly easy to accomplish. It really just involved laying the drive on its back getting a couple thin pry tools in the seam and gently prying apart the bottom of the case. So the case itself wasn't even damaged, which I'm pretty excited about. If you've uh, watched this channel for any length of time, you know I'm not always great at managing uh, that particular thing. So one could reasonably actually put this thing back together and use it again if one were so inclined. Inside the two-piece plastic housing, we basically have this metal cage for the drive, and uh, it just is held in place with some rubber isolators. Remove four screws from this cage, the drive slides out. Two screws secure the USB to SATA adapter to the chassis, and that pretty much comes right out if you take the screws out. It's a real, real basic SATA to USB adapter. There's not a lot I can say about it. I've seen it actually in identical form in some other Seagate expansion drives that I've taken apart, so they're pretty much the same. This is the same internal design with just a fancier plastic shell around it. And uh, while the drive says OEM product not for resale right on the label, it also bears the model number ST8000DM004, which is basically identical to a drive you can actually get on the internet for about 150 bucks. So this is essentially the same drive, just with an OEM sticker on it. So I'd say that's a pretty good deal if you're harvesting this for the drive. This enclosure is significantly cheaper. The drive is otherwise completely the same as the one you'd find in the bear drive. It looks pretty much identical other than the label, and there's pretty much nothing appreciably different in appearance. So now that I've taken it apart, I'm hooking the drive directly to my machine and taking a look at crystal disk info. We can see the drive is basically also identical to its bear drive cousin. It's a 5400 RPM drive with 8 terabytes of space and a 256 megabyte cache. I was also pleased to see this drive is essentially new with very, very low power on hours. It seems like many times these drives have higher than expected power on hours when they're tossed into an enclosure. I'm not really sure whether that's just because of various things in the manufacturing facility or what have you. Either that means it's a really fresh drive or it means that that particular counter was reset. I also didn't find any direct indication on the packaging and nothing on concrete and crystal disk info, but it seems like more or less we're on revision one of Seagate's firmware for this drive family, if that's of any concern to anyone out there. That's about really all I had for this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below.